like I am. Glyn? Oh, Glyn. Glyn. Glyn Blindledon. Yes. That's his name, please. <laughs> Your name is Grin. You guys want, uh... Glenn? Or... Glenn. I'm fine with Glenn. Alright, Glenn it is. Yes. Alright. Yes. He, uh, you do notice that this individual is, in fact, a deep gnome. Ooh. Not just any gnome. Deep gnome. Yes, uh, my name is Glenn. Uh, I bought this shop uh, from its previous owner. I, I tried to rename it after, uh, after myself. Uh, Glim's Knickknacks. But everybody just ca kept calling it the old Zoblob shop, so I just changed the name back. <laughs> um, and there's no relation to the eye tyrant hanging in the window. He, told, he points to the uh, stuff beholder that was uh, hanging in the window. Outside. How much? Uh, that is not for sale, unfortunately. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stuffed beholder. <laughs> Can I browse the shop one more time? Sure, give me another hundred. I'm, just, I'm sorry to bail, boys, but I think I'm going to go to bed and fall asleep in my chair right now. Oh. Sorry. All right. You're on uh, duty for watching us up from above. Yeah, basically, that's what I'll do. I'm also, you know, what really kind of plus five pike. I. Just Jaeger me. All right. I'm not, I've been having fun. I'm just, I can't concentrate anymore. I've stayed up too late. Get some sleep, that. damn it. Yeah. Yeah, Daddy, don't be a stupid. Alright, can't wait for next time though, David. Alright. Don't kill me! I'll try not to. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have backups. I have backups. <laughs> I'll see you. Alright, so, yeah. have a good night. Every, every good night, boys. Sleep yes. out. Get some sleep. Melty brain. Oh, there he goes. Mm. Professor okay. Melty brain. Alright. So, what's an 86? 86. Uh, you find an empty silver snuff box bearing an inscription on the surface that says dreams. Dreams can only be dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> no, don't let your memes be memes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Glenn. We shall be on our way. Yes, I'm pleased to have another fan. Come again. We will. All right, where are you guys heading off to? Look around town for more performances. We're going to Skewer Dragon yeah. between <clears throat> the Lay Lane and that street. I kind of turn to the group and I'm like, it seems that you guys would have, are a group that uh, will have a great story. I shall follow yes. you and write songs about these adventures. I do love your songs, Bon. Yeah, thank you. They all do. <laughs> Alright, so we make our way. We make your way. Play. 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 No. Yeah. It's over here. Alright. You guys. Alright, you finally uh, get to the uh, alley that runs between Net Street and Fair Lane in the Dock Ward. Not too far from an old Zoblob shop. The Scourd Dragon. It looks like a ruin. Both of its front facing windows are smashed, and a ship's anchor is lodged in the roof. Through the windows, you can see a group of haggard patrons drinking from huge tankards. I like the theme. And I walk in. <laughs> Alright. Anybody else walking inside? I will also join her. Alright. 
All right, I'm done being party face. <laughs> but you have such good rolls, Mitch. I know. All right. All right, what are you guys doing? Have the bar to step up. Yeah, uh, I'll step up. All right, you notice the bartender is just sort of like hanging back. Compared to Dernan, he he's very messy looking, kind of you know a bit haggard, you know unkept uh, facial hair. Um, instead of cleaning or like polishing the de the, the the tabletop, he's kind of just lounging back, leaning back, kind of just like chilling out, not really doing anything. Is there a handout for the dude we're looking for? Uh, I mean, there's, well, you know, we haven't met him yet, so, uh, okay. you do know his name is Floon. He's very handsome. He has wavery red hair. And, uh, yeah, he was wearing some princely garb. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, I guess I'll kind of just stroll through the bar, uh, like on the place. Okay. And Vaughn uh, is going to kind of tip his hat and wink to some, some ladies. And uh, that he assumes instantly our fan, and um, yeah, and I'm gonna uh, approach the bartender and uh, yeah, it's barkeep. Yeah. What are you having? Um, I'll take a, a simple uh, oh, I don't know, uh, tequila sunshine, sunrise. Uh, listen, <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> A what? I've been looking for a, a tequila sunrise. Yes, uh, I've I've been looking for a specific uh, a place to play my shows. You know, he takes a very what seems to be a very unclean uh, tankard and pours some ale into it. Uh, <laughs> very light colored ale, uh, not very uh, you know uh, thirst quest questioning delicious or anything. Not appealing at all kind of slides that forward towards you. Yeah, I suppose this fuels the fire just as well. Got a bit of gold. Do you serve tea here? What? I... Do you serve tea here? No. It's a, it is a sort of tea. It's like a hop tea. We have ale. I will take one ale, please. He takes another, <laughs> takes another tankard, pours it in, passes it to you. Gold. Is it just as dirty? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love I love the theme of your <laughs> tavern. <laughs> the theme. That'll be a gold, or are you doing a tab? I'll just pay right away. All right, you pay a gold. Yay. Gold for an ale? Man, that must be some good ale. Is it good ale? No. <laughs> you can taste the alcohol. It's uh, strongly and not much anything else. Mm -hmm. If you just want to come in here and just get drunk, pass out. You know, That's what this place is for. Yeah. And looking gotcha. around the, uh, the patrons, that seems to be what they're doing. These are very... Shit-based. Uh, some of them are very much uh, people who live in slums, who work in slums, uh, basically get shit on every single day. Just come in here, pay their uh, you know little uh, payments they get at the end of the month here, and drink it away. I'll, uh, I'll go over to Vaughn, Vaughn and be like, uh, you should... Uh... Just spread some merry, you know, play a little a little jam, get these people going, make them feel a little better. No, this, usually I get the payment for this, but uh I'll be like I'll give you ten percent of my share when we find Volo's friend. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh Alright. And I hop up on a table. Uh, the patron drinking at that table kind of gives you a dirty look and leaves. 
<laughs> Finding another table. Not what I, not was I, what I was intending, but by all means, go ahead, Vaughn. Go ahead. Give him a show. It's okay. His ears will, will uh, forgive the way he acts now. <laughs> um, oh, shit. I'm going to say, my dear patrons, this is a song of the aching heart of a lover when a knight goes off to fight a dragon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love begin. this one. <laughs> I just like kind of face palm myself, like just put my hand, in, my hand in my head. I'm like, this is not what I was planning at all. Oh, oh. Right. this is some bad ale. <laughs> I told you that it was hop ale. <laughs> give me a, uh, give me a performance. Hop tea. All right. Here one we more go. Performance for the day. Well, I mean, not one more, but yet another. Oof. Oof. I need to tune my tunings off. I... <laughs> uh, some of the He's patrons getting... immediately start booing. He is getting only 5% of this shit now. Get out of here. Just, I... <laughs> Get lost. You will see. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> break a string. Uh, I'll just <laughs> break a string. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll turn to the, the barkeep and, uh, how many, how many patrons are in here if an ale is a freaking gold coin? Is there, like, a lot of people in here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's ten people in here. Son of a bitch. Uh, You're busy. and an ale is a gold coin? Yep. Okay. Um... That's fantastic. Uh, Where that kitty? I will turn to the barkeep and uh, apologies to my friend. He's usually a lot better than this. Uh, Hi, kitty. We're looking for some information on someone who might have been in here uh, a couple nights ago. Now, I'll give him the description of Floon and um, Volo, who he was with, and ask if he's seen anyone like that in the last couple of days. Um. So I just looked up the actual price for an ale. Sorry about that. Uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> those who actually paid a gold point, gold piece, uh, if you like to re exchange that for maybe uh, three silver, that'd be great. No, it's fine. He's jipping us because we're in a bad part of town. I accept that's, it. That's also fair too. Mm. <laughs> so the bartender kind of looks at you as you describe Floon and see if he, you know, if he recognizes him, and he just kind of looks at you like maybe. I slide, five to you. I slide five gold coins across the table. He takes the coins. It's yeah, I see quite him. a bit. Any information you have, uh, be very appreciated. Yeah, I see him. With that, uh, Volo fella. Mm-hmm. Arrogant prick. Go on. <laughs> well, after Volo left, this floon fella sticked around Meet with another friend. Mm hmm. And this other friend, uh, what did he look like? Did you get a name by chance? Oh, I recognize him as he walked in. Alright. Continue. Yes, please. Renair Never Ember. The son of Waterdee's previous open lord. Oh, what's he doing in a slum part of town like this? I wonder. One of the uh, patrons in the back says, ah, ah, chip off the old block that one. <laughs> Just in a spoiled oh. rich noble who looks a rubbing in our noses, says another. What's the guy's name? Hey, stop. It was uh, Ray Raynar uh, Never Ember. Raynar. Got it. Sweet. All right. The uh, barkeep continues saying that the two uh, play a few rounds of uh, three dragon ante before leaving mm -hmm. around midnight. Gotcha. Uh, five men might have followed them out. And these men, what did they look like? Any, any certain uh, defining marks? Yeah, leather armor. 
Mm-hmm. I believe one of them had a tattoo of something in the back of his neck. Ooh, that's very specific. <laughs> tattoo of something, you get a good look at it, do you have any idea what it might have been? Yeah. Flying snake. And that means... <laughs> what? Where were they off to? That symbol got any uh, mean around these parts. I know there's a lot of gang violence these days in the streets, and uh, not too familiar with the the local uh, factions. <laughs> yeah, it's got mean around here. Zenterum. Mm-hmm. Criminal organization. Black <laughs> Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got a. Warehouse not too far from here, or on Candle Lane. Yeah. Yeah, they might have taken your friend there. Gotcha. All right. Well, be sure to check it out and uh, don't spend all that gold in one place. Yeah, yeah. How much does? How much does it cost to keep quiet about this? Double. Alright. Well, How much gold you got on ya? Is that whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there any way we can make a deal with it to not have to pay double for that? That seems a bit unreasonable. Give me a persuasion. I know that it is easy to kind of uh, let uh, your lips be loose. But perhaps for fair characters such as ourselves, you can make a deal. And, uh,. Damn. Ten. I'll pay half if you pay half. Yeah. He just says with a grin on his face. Big shit eating grin. Double or nothing. How about uh you uh keep your mouth shut so I don't have to come back here later and uh have a- another talk with you and I nudged to the great sword on my back as I tower over him at seven foot five. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an intimidation. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit, that's charisma based. Fuck. Uh here we go, boys. Fuck <laughs> I give him triple. How much does it cost? Jesus Christ. That's like thirty uh, gold. <laughs> if it's triple. <laughs> no, triple would be fifteen. Fifteen, like, yeah. Five. Three fives. I give him Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> he takes your gold. Yeah. Kind of walks what away. Was, what was the street again? It was Candle Lane. Candle Lane. Candle Lane. Candle Lane. One of the tavern it's regulars kind of uh, picks up Looking. as you guys begin to leave. And uh, he shouts out, ah, Look for the snake symbol on the door. Appreciate it. Yeah, fucking kick the door open and leave. Alright. Gotta assert dominance <laughs> with my nine intimidation roll. <laughs> Alright. All right. We're gonna make our way towards Candle Lane then. Candle Lane. Cool. Can we stop by the shop for a second? <laughs> sure. If it's really that important to you, Leon. Ooh. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> the, the, the oblong sh- or Zoblob shop. Oh, welcome back. Oh, I just love this shop. I must I'll see wait. more. I'll wait outside this time. <laughs> All right, number twenty. Uh, your eyes immediately turn to a glass jar containing a weird bit of flesh, floating in pickled fluid. Ooh. What is this? I hold it up. Oh, that's a it's a glass jar containing a bit of flesh floating in pickled liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love you. <laughs> well, I guess that's the thing I just read to you. <laughs> I nod and I walk out the door. <laughs> I love it. 
And we're at Candle Lane. All right. Cool. All right. The buildings on either side of Candle Lane are so tall and tightly packed together that light touches the street only at high sun. It is completely dark. Gloom envelops a narrow a narrow alley as dark as a dungeon and as odious, odorous as one too. Yeah. Nearly all the street lamps have been smashed. The only light that pierces the darkness is a faint flickering from down the lane like a distant candle. And I am going to cast light on myself. Can I make a perception check for that door with a snake symbol? Go for it. With the light, you don't have to do disadvantage. Sweet. Perception. What? Fuck. Mm. I shall take a look. I would appreciate it. There you go. All right. You guys come down to the end of the alleyway where the single flickering light of the street lamp uh, is still lit. Uh, anybody who's uh, familiar with the arcane may, may make a check. Uh, well... Like uh, proficient in it or just... Yeah, proficient yeah. in it. Okay. Am I proficient? Oh, hey, I am. Oh. I don't know shit. Character sheet. It says it's on here, but it's not showing. There it is. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not proficient. You're not proficient. Okay. Not an arcana, no. No. Uh -uh. Uh, Liao. I, uh, but I rolled Jack. You immediately recognize that the only reason that this single light is actually still a lit is that it's a continual flame spell. Ooh. And as your eyes adjust to the darkness and the light, your eyes pan down to uh, a warehouse directly across the street from the lamp. And from the light, it illuminates a black winged snake painted oh, wow. above the door handle. That's our warehouse. Right. Does it open? <laughs> I, don't suggest, I don't suggest we go straight on in. Are there any uh, windows on the building that we can look through? Give me a moment. I I douse my light. Uh, ooh, you douse your light. Very nice indeed. Hold on. Hold on. Ta -da. This is cool. It's blue fog, not black. Oh, is it blue? That's weird. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe it's because I have luck style. Are you highlighting it? Do you guys see all the uh, lights or. I don't, we don't see anything. Yeah, it's a uh, dark screen for me. Is it set up for dynamic? Yeah. Oh, oh man, you gotta be on, you gotta be paying for it. Really, you guys can't see it either. Nothing. Mm -hmm. It's darkness. Unless you gotta drop our tokens on there, and then we can see. Maybe that. You want me to try? Hold on, let me see. Don't do that. Yeah, let me see. You you got the light on you, right? You know how bright that lights. Uh, I I dropped it, but it's mm. um right. here for what I have. It's a twenty foot radius and dim light for an additional twenty. So if you put it on twenty and then select the dim light thing. That's if you have dynamic, like if you paid for plus, which I don't know. Did you buy plus? Yeah. Oh, then it should work. Oh. Are our tokens there? Yeah. Don't know why it's not working, though. 
Um, do we have to drop our characters onto it? No. No, it's not. Hold on. It's... Do you have dynamic lighting on at the same time as Fog is War? They're two different systems. You can use both if you want, but Fog of War does not need to be toggled on to use dynamic lighting. If you have Fog of War on, you should reveal the fog in order for your players to see. Hold on. Oh, what have I done? Oh. Place out the boxes, but the players can see the entirety of the map. Did you draw it? They already have the lines drawn out, Yeah, correct? they have it pre-made. Yeah, that's what I was messing with then. Tomb. So let's see. under the second tool and menu, normally the cube you have different map layers. Select the dynamic lighting layer. Draw some lines on your map for all your walls. Oh, hey there! You guys see? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, the cool as fuck. There we go. Squishing. Fantastic. So wait, are we inside now, or like, oh shit, man, that's cool as hell. All right. All right, a ramshackle two-story warehouse. The warehouse stands at the back of the outer yard behind a high fence. Oh, so we're on, we're outside the fence? Yeah, you're outside the fence. So this is a fence. Uh, the gate on the fence isn't locked. Uh, I don't... I, su I suggest we go around. Scout. Alright. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't... Don't go... Don't go across the walls. Uh, uh, oh, this is you, just a pathway. Yeah, you make uh, you circle around, and you notice that there doesn't seem to be any uh, any sort of entryway, except for like maybe like high windows. Does anyone have a climber's kit? Um, not that I am aware of. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try my climber's kit. Wow, that's actually like really cool. <laughs> Don't put yourself in there yet. I can see clearly now. The dynamic lighting's on. Do do do. Yeah, if you can't see, so for example, my my character's right here. If you can't huh. see, you can't go that way. There's a wall of some sort. Oh, okay. Until until David says, okay, you can go through. Right. Gotcha. Okay. He can manually block it so your character literally can't move through it, but that's not the way it's set up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not know that you can do that. Yeah, I remember using it a long time ago. All right. I'm assuming this is a window? That is a window. Okay. What do I see in there? All right. You see some boxes, some crates. Uh, tables and chairs have been carefully tossed across the floor. Uh, from uh, this area, you don't really see a whole lot much more. All right, so how does Climber's Kit work? I mean, that you window no is window. at ground level. <clears throat> you said there's high windows. Hmm. Right? Yes. Climber's Kit 5E. Harness, blah, blah, blah. You can use the climber's kit as an action to anchor yourself. When you do, you can't fall more than 25 feet from the point you're anchored yourself. Ah, okay. So, I need to make a climbing check. Do I want to actually do that? Yes, I do. Start climbing. But I'm going to do it from the outside over here. Is there any windows? Like, where am I window-wise? Is there a... Like, I want to be right under a window. Uh, Very high window. All right. So, to, uh, yeah, I guess you can like, be in a window, find a window. There's a window. It's very high up. Uh, 
Definitely for a second floor. Does it? What's the title wall look like? I mean, honestly, there actually is no windows, but except for that one one. But that seems ridiculous. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, that seems kind of ridiculous in the warehouse. There's maybe even windows. Uh, no, it's to dissuade players from going in from a different area. That's my guess. Hmm. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, it only says there are three entryways. Uh, the front door. The large, a large warehouse door, loading door, the painted over uh, window, and a front door. Yeah, the front door, the warehouse door, mm -hmm. and the window. Seems to be the only ways in. Does the window look like it's secured on the frame? Are you trying well, to open it? Yes. It is locked. Okay. Can I see the lock? Where it's located? Do I get just a normal uh, hatch? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the lock. Should I break it? What are you guys doing? Uh, none of us have tools to, like... Pick the lock, I, I assume. No, the lock's on the inside. Right. We don't, we don't have, have like. Well, there's many we things have, you like, guys uh, can use do. Use tools or anything. And there's there's three entryways. Can I check for traps? Sure. These uh these dotted bits right here, like that's where underneath like a balcony, right? It is a fence. Oh okay. Yeah, and these uh. The door right there is open, mm -hmm. yeah, so oh, you can okay. open it up and just go right inside. Oh, okay. So now we're in the like yard to the the warehouse. You are okay. Should I just break it down? You are actually in the yard. Congratulations. Thank you. Should we bust it down, fellas? Well, I'm searching for a trap on this wall real quick. Oh, all right. I'll let for you do the that. Glass. And a uh, general area, I'll say that. Gotcha. Just the general area here, then doors. If I'm able to transfer that check to those. You do not notice any sort of traps. I'm gonna gen gen I'm gonna gently tap on the window. Not hard enough as to knock, but just tap. So wait, this right here is a window, not a door. Correct. Window. Is there is there any door into the building? Loading bay door is this big one. Oh, okay. Small one is a legit door. Gotcha. And we don't see anything in here through this window, right? Just some crates. I... What are okay. you guys' passive perception? 14. Uh, is that your wisdom plus yep. 10? Yep. <clears throat> 11. If you're, it's a... It's... Your wisdom, unless you're proficient in perception. Then it's your perception oh, plus per 10. Oh. I am proficient, so it's 14 then. 14. Same. 14. Hmm. 14. Are we gonna, going in then, boys? I'm going to try the door, see if it's locked. You uh, jiggle the handle. It is indeed locked. Does anyone have thieves' tools? Nope. <laughs> um, and this loading door looks pretty big, right? Yes. It is a loading door for, like, trucks and stuff. Or, like, wagons. Caravans, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna wrap my hand in, uh, Wait, Leo, are you breaking the window? Yes. I, I got this. And then Giant, I'll yell, Leroy, the Jenkins! And I'll run and dash through the window. <laughs> wow. I'm going to hide in this corner. And I probably so... get a bonus because he is drawing attention to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Do, I, uh... do I, just, I just 
bash to the window? Is that okay? Or like, what do I need Give to do? Me acrobatics. <laughs> acrobatics. Oh, okay. I was really hoping for some athletics, but that's fine too. Uh. Ac acrobatics. Either me. or. He he isn't trying to be elegant. That's 14. right. That's true. I mean, you can roll acrobatics, but using your strength modifier. If you want. Well, ac well, that'd be athletics then, if that was the case. Yeah. So, uh, 21 then for athletics. Yeah. E either way, you dive through this window. Lira, and absolutely Jager. destroy it. Uh, let me just move some of you guys around. Whoop. So yeah, you bust right through there. Pfft, nice. Glass goes all over everywhere. So right, Vaughn, point landing after a roll. Vaughn. Vaughn Fuerte. What's up? You see Liao, Liao just like sitting down in the corner of this wall with like just like what I'm doing, just like hand on forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I am uh, impressed by the knight's charge. Keldar. Uh, in addition to the tables and chairs that have been t seemingly carelessly tossed across the floor, mm -hmm. corpses of a dozen men lie among the walls. The rapiers <laughs> and daggers lying nearby. On the north side of the area, you see a set of stairs rising up to an open level above. Oh. Uh, at the side of the corpses, I will unsheath my great sword and uh, inflict my right of flame and like like ignite my sword with fire and use it kind of like a torch since it's dark in here. If that gives me any extra light, I don't know. Uh, what you, you do? I'm sorry. So. Um, with my class, I can invoke a rite of flame, and um, uh, basically, I, 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 you, I, normally how I do it for my character is that I run my thumb against like the sharp edge of the blade and cut it, and then run my blood across like runes that have been etched into the blade, and when my blood touches the runes, it ignites the the blade in flame. So it's a flaming great sword. All right, and how? Uh... Wow. How much light does this is emit? Um, I don't know. Probably I'd a torch. Like, yeah, I'd 60. say like standard torch light. Okay, mm -hmm. then uh, you can see what you see then. <clears throat> What's your passive perception? 14? Mine is 14, yeah. Mm. All right. So just out of the dimness, <laughs> let's see if you see this guy. <gasps> I see a poison. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, shit in the way. Go back to where you were. Yeah. Do you see him? Right, right there. Yeah. 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 You see him. You mm -hmm. see somebody hiding behind uh, something, hiding behind uh, boxes and crates. You there! Reveal yourself! Oh my god. I stealth then. Uh, yeah, roll initiative. Oh shit. Okay. Oh boy. Stealth did not get off. It's fine, Mitch. Alright, let me just clear this order. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Yay! Let me grab a drink for this battle. Alright, let me just edit this for you guys. 19. Alright. Ah, oh, shit, I hit. I forgot again to click my token. That's alright. Sorry. You can just roll, you can click it, roll again, and then put in what you got. I got oh, a yeah, 19. I can, huh? So, oh, okay, well, that's incorrect. So what 17. the dickens? That initiative. Uh, yeah. Get out of here with that. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I want it in. Boom. There you go. There you go. All 
right. Did somebody go and get a drink? Alex left to go grab some. But he's in initiative, so you can just explain what's going on. All right, let's get this going. Oof, a bit loud for you guys. Perfect, perfect. Right there is good. Oh, right there? All yeah. All right. Jams are pretty tasty. All right, so hold on, Keldar. Hold down. Yes. You get shot with a short bow. Oh shit! It does eight piercing damage. Did it hit me? Yes. Uh, I guess if you said it hits me, it hits me. So eight, you said? Oh, it rolled a twenty-two. Yeah, it hit you. That 22? Is yeah. that my initiative, though? No, that's what they rolled to attack you. I, I didn't see your attack in the thing. No, yeah, but... no, it's under GM. You just have oh. to trust me. You have to trust oh, okay. me. I, I do. I was just like, wait a minute. Okay, so eight points of piercing, you said? Yes. Okay, give me a second. I need to math that. But All right. Ah, right in the shoulder. Right. Boom. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Ready for level one TPK, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm assuming that these are crates and such yes. for cover. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you notice a figure, small and darkly sh in shadows, uh, pop up from uh, this over here and shoot you. Right here? No, uh, sorry. Right here. Oh, I'm in GM. Sorry about that. You're fine. Right here. Oh, okay. On the other side of that. Gotcha. The character sheet's in the way. It's blocking all my shit that I'm trying to see here. I'm so sorry. You're Leo. fine. Leo. <laughs> <sighs> I hop over. Is this difficult terrain? Uh, to climb over? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, can you see through that? Yes. And uh, no, no, it's not difficult terrain. Just give me, give me a. Here, let me uh, see. Um, actually, maybe not. Yeah, maybe that. I can't see through that. I think see. it's Keldar. Keldar, move your guy right here. Oh. oh. Come on. Just drag him right there. I'm, I'm trying. There we go. So, yeah, that's difficult terrain then. Mm, yes. Yo, sorry. I have to be seated. Oh. So you can move back where Liao is. He's back. You're right here. I, I know. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, and then she kind of is gonna take cover against these. Uh, and then she's gonna actually move up. Uh, do that. Okay, so right there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can't move to the, to the right. No, it's a uh, stairway that has like a, it's like a uh, boarded oh. side. Oh, okay. okay. I can't see anything here. <sighs> and then I just take cover behind the boxes and I say, Kaldar, take cover! Right. right. You're right. Vaughn. Oh god, Kaldar, you're not looking so good. Uh, that arrow hurt. Alright, um... let's go. That arrow hurt a you lot. You guys are still pretty hurt from before. Uh, it kind of like 
auto thing. During your travels, I assume you guys had like a short rest or something. Like as you walk through this yeah. the city. So if you I'd want to so, do so. uh roll some hit dice, you can. Sweet. I mean Keldar, if you were at full just Yeah, I mean I see what it was, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Thirty, I'll go right here. And I will uh healing or yeah, use cure wounds on Keldar. Cure wounds gotta be touched, right? Yeah. Ten. Healing word is the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, can I scoot th through this little box thing? Yes. Difficult terrain. Yes, I can, David. Yes, you can. Not difficult terrain or with difficult terrain. Uh. <sighs> I mean, probably not. You're just squeezing through them. All right. It was difficult to train because you uh, you wanted to climb over it. Ah. Uh, okay. So yeah, then I'll cure wounds. <gasps> yes. I'll be so strong. Six hit points. That's fantastic. Yay! And then I'll uh. Bloop. Uh, inspire ya. Thank you. Oh man. That's a uh, D four or D six. D six. Nice, okay. D4's with bless. Mm, right, right, right. Sweet. Alright. Notice another individual come up from the corner here and take a shot at Keldar. Ah, shit. Hit, Daddy, hit me. Kenku. Rolls at 18. Uh, that, that hits. You take five Jesus piercing Christ. damage. Five piercing, okay. Right the shoulder, the other shoulder this time. Got two bolts or arrows in my shoulders. That's great. You got arrow nipples. Oh yes. You hear uh, these individuals making some clicking, cracking sounds. If only our arrow Kokra was here. <laughs> he could, could say, us. "Oh, they're talking about this." He's taking a lap. <laughs> yeah. <he's> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Control from the sky. Do you guys want me to Jaeger him, or do you want to... No. Nope. nope. It's he's not here. Not here. It's all good. He's he's, uh, uh, he's keeping watch. Yep, he's up in the eye in the sky kind of deal. <clears throat> uh, how far is this? Alright. <laughs> So the one all the way, hold on, the one all the way down here is going to take a shot at you, Keldar. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ooh, you hear a snapping sound. Ha <laughs> ha! stepped it, on a branch. You hear what sounds like somebody saying, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you hear a loud twang. Mm. All right. Like when, like when uh, Vaughn broke his uh, car string trying to tune it. Yeah. All right, Keldar. Okay, I'm a, I'm a rush in. Uh, so to get through to get through here would be difficult terrain. Yes, to get over those uh, barrels. Boxes. Right, okay, so. Shit, why can't I. <clears throat> what the hell is up with this shit? Come on, there we go. Why is it being so weird? Okay, so. 5, 10, 20, 25, 30. Can I make an attack at this Kenku? Yes. 
Okay, sweet. With my flaming great sword, does a nine does not hit. Nine does not hit. It Fuck. just dodges <laughs> out of your way. Inspiration, hold on, wait. <laughs> Inspiration, D6. Does a nice. 15 oh. hit? That'd be a 15, actually. 15. Oh, does a 15 hit? 15 does hit. Fuck yeah! yeah. Nine points of slashing damage, and, 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 oh, wait, hold on, hold on, for the right, uh, uh, one d4, so, twelve, <laughs> so three points of fire damage, so twelve total. Just, uh, ah, cut shoot. into this Kenku, it does not look great. It's still up, but it's bleeding heavily. Damn fucking right it is. Bleeding from his eyes. All right. <clears throat> 20. This guy comes up at you out of the shadows and swings his uh, short sword at you. Ah, shit. For a 22 to hit. Oh, well, that definitely hits me. Taking seven piercing damage. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, stone's endurance to right. uh, reduce said damage. Because that would be bad. Okay, so that is... Uh, Did you remember to rage? I'm not a barbarian. Oh. Oh, that's right. Archon is. Ooh. Yep. Um, hmm. I'm just a Goliath. Stone's Endurance is a Goliath thing. I don't understand Archon's character picture. It's a barbarian. It's a bird. Um... Is it sideways? Is that why? Yeah, it's like sideways. He's like in the air. Suspended. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, so it's I one, saw two, it. four. Roll that bitch. Away. Zoom up in on it. Ah, it reduces by eight points of damage. Just holding the spear okay. by like a ten. Right. No take damage this no turn. So he just like cuts into me. But I look down. Goliath just. Ah! <laughs> no damage. <laughs> Phew. Okay, that was nice. <coughs> I believe it's Liao's turn. It is actually not. Oh, it's not? No. Mm. Because... Oh, is the turn counter messed up a little bit? They're jumping in. They're jumping in. They're coming out of hiding. Uh, short bow attack to Vaughn. Let me just check up what the... How can Va Vaughn can't see them? Whoever's attacking him. Doesn't mean they can't see him. Are you, uh... Or wait, is he yeah. by that wall there? Or wait, yeah, he's... under full cover, or he cannot see. He can only see from. He can see all this. Now he can. Okay. If okay, he was so right here, he could see the Kenko of that one. Oh, okay. So assuming... yeah, I cover a little so bit. How one... do you know what I can see? Because I'm assuming you see this. You see black right here. Yep. Yeah, we all see each other's sight lines. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see this triangle here because of the way it's set up. See, then you could see that Kenku if you step back. Unless you have special... I, I don't know if you can see this, David, what we can see. Yeah, I see what you see. Yeah, so that means that the Kenku might not be able to see us. Because Vaughn can't see him. But if that Kenku can see Keldar, basically if there's a line of sight on the bad guys, then they can see us. <clears throat> Because Keldar is pretty fucked by these two guys and that dude. Maybe not Vaughn. There's a lot of stuff in the way. But I don't know how you want to rule that. I'm just bringing it up because I don't know. Full cover is a thing that I did forget about. Uh, so Vaughn, out of nowhere, an arrow pierces the uh, wooden panel that you're leaning up against. Ooh. And you look towards the 
just quickly peer out and you see another Kenku with a short bow hiding behind uh, some boxes over here. Great. All right. All right. Liao. <sighs> Five, ten, fifteen. I see the Kenku. I'm going to Eldritch Blast him. Or Ooh, crit. Oh. Bang oh, bang. Nice. I was like, ooh, he's got cover. What oh, you wait, that doesn't matter. Eldritch blast. Nice. One D ten force damage. Oh shit boy, let's go. Oh shit boy. Nice. <clears throat> And it's a non-lethal knockout strike. Uh, why are you rolling 2d10? Because it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. You blast the uh, Kenku, uh, and it looks hurt really bad. Yeah, but it's still up. Uh, and then I'm going to take the rest of my movement to... Kind of finagle my way through the barrels, cover and stuff. Get back to full cover. If I can. Okay. So, that's my turn. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I would determine that might be three quarters cover or, or less, since the boxes aren't so high. Can I kneel? Hide behind it? Uh, unfortunately, you can make a hide action, but that would have been cost your action. So just yeah. in this right. in this uh, moment, you just have enough. Three quarters. Yeah, you just have enough to get okay. uh, behind this thing. Yeah, got it. Okay. All right, Vaughn. Yes. All right. Uh... Take a step out. Mm. And I'm going to uh, five, ten. I'm a uh, flap in the air again. <laughs> is this oh, uh, a? Is this like ten feet up, or what? Like fifteen feet up tall. I figured it was probably pretty tall. It's a warehouse. Yeah. Let me see. It is a warehouse. So... The balcony... Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the area you are in, it goes up to the roof. Sweet. All right. Well, yeah. Fly up. Uh, what? Thirty feet then. All right. You fly up thirty feet. And uh, well, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like up. Wait. That's awesome. Would I see everybody then? Uh, do you see everybody? Yeah. Yeah, you would see everybody. Trying to just get it to a point where I can see everything. <laughs> let me, let me see if I can. Well, I mean, you see everybody on the board here already, especially if you go back up here. Yeah. Because you see the one right here, you see these two next to Keldar, and the one yeah, yeah. back here because of Keldar's sight. You're right. Um. So, uh, all right, I will. Uh... <clears throat> I guess I will. Yes, you see the four Kenku. There's nobody else here, except for the piles of dead bodies. Hmm. Vicious mockery's not rolling for some reason. 
Maybe you're editing it instead of clicking on it. One damage. <laughs> wow. But it's not it's supposed to roll if it's attack. If it attacks, right? Uh, what the does thing it say? is, you you can make it a, it be an attack, but it only does the damage. Or a spell card. So I just make it a spell card and I type in the rolls because it's just better to see the spell card. Yeah. It's dumb. Tis. They don't but now it won't fucking link as a spell card. It's very weird. You gotta just name it as a spell card. What What does the spell so say? Just tell me. <clears throat> All right. You unleash a string of insults laced with a subtle enchant at a creature. So uh, if the target can hear you, I'm gonna succeed in wisdom saving throw. Take one d four damage and has a uh, disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of the turn. Oh, I see why. There we go. It's asking me what what level I want to cast uh. it at. I could have had Unseen Servant unlock the fucking window. Shit. <laughs> right. Wisdom I like my way saving much throw. Better, Which one are you attacking? Uh, 12, I guess I'll attack. Messed up. Oh. No, it's a saving throw, isn't it? Yeah, it's a saving throw. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, this one. That one. Okay, Wisdom saving throw. It gets a 10. That's gotta be a fail. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So it takes that single damage. And falls unconscious. Yay. Nice. 